Hello, this is CP Addict and welcome to a new video. In this video, I'll be selecting a random lead code hard problem and solving it in the real time. So I want to share the disclaimer that I've never seen that problem before. I'm opening it for the first time. So let's start. So I'll be cho choosing this problem. So let's open it. Let's copy the title of the problem and note it in the lead tracker. And note the time as well. So it's 5. 22. Okay, so given three integers n, m, and k, consider the following algorithm to find the maximum element of an array of positive integers. Maximum value and maximum index initialized to minus 1, search cost equals to 0. If maximum value less than array i, maximum value, so we are setting it to the next greater value and search cost increases by 1 and return maximum index. You should build the array a array which has the following properties. Array has exactly n integers. Array i is less than equal to m. After applying the mentioned algorithm to array, the value of search cost is equal to k. Return number of ways to build the array under mentioned conditions. As the answer may grow large, the answer must be computed modulo 10 raised to the power 9 plus 7. So first let's see what this function is. So in this function, whenever we find an element that is greater than the maximum value, so maximum value till i is x and if we find any element greater than that we will be increasing the search cost by 1 so that also means it is the number of elements that are forming the increasing subsequence till the maximum element so what i mean by this is suppose we start our search from this element and then we find the element that is greater than that because if we find elements that are smaller than that the search cost is not going to increase and similarly here suppose we find these elements and then we find this element search cost is going to up so we have to find the length of increasing subsequence that will be the search cost okay and we have to make sure that array i is less than equal to m so let's write it here array i should be less than equal to m And search cost must be equal to k. So length of increasing subsequence equals to k. Okay, so let's see what are the constraints for n and m n is less than equal to 50 m is less than equal to 100 so we have a small n so n is less than equal to 50 okay so let's see what we can do in this problem so at each point at each point 
we have a choice of 100 numbers because m is at most 100 so if we are placing a number at this place we can place any number from 1 to m and if this number is greater than the largest number in the left of this number we increase the cost by one so we need the we need index at which we are placing this number and we also need the largest number previously used so largest number so let's see what we do if we place a number so if we place a number and that number is less than equal to largest the cost is going to remain same okay same or will increase by one so i think we can do it in we can do it using dynamic programming so largest number is up to 100 and idx is up to 150 so i think that should work let's try to solve this problem so i'm creating another k another solution another function so we have two states index and the largest element till now so if and we also need the number of elements the length of LIS also so 50 times 50 times 100 so 50 times 50 it is 2500 and 100 so 3 4 5 so yeah this should work and we also need the number of length of LIS okay so if index equals to k because we have to equals to n because we have to place n numbers then we if if length of LIS equals to k if length of LIS equals to k we are going to return 1 else we are returning 0 because this is not a possible solution now for in i equals to 1 so we can place any number from 1 to m so i equals to 1 i less than equal to m i plus plus if i is greater than length of than the largest element then answer plus equals to solve so idx plus one because we are placing one more element and length of LIS will also increase by one because the element is larger and largest element will now become I else what we can do is answer plus equals to solve IDX plus one length of LIS is going to remain same and the largest element is also the same so we have to return the answer so let's create a dp so int dp so n is up to 50 and length of lis can also be till 50 so largest element can be up to 100 so these are the states if dp idx comma length of l 
is comma largest is not equals to minus one return this thing so i'm copying this return this and this is also the answer for this state so mem set our dp minus one size of dp and return solve zero length of lis is also zero and largest element let's say zero so let's see if we have done any mistake a final check so here is no n so we'll have n as global variable and i'll say that n equals to n i'll change the name n in this and we also need m and we also need k m equals to n and k equals to k m and k i think it seems fine now okay so it is giving us the right answer so one thing we have to do is apply the mod so apply mod here answer equals to answer mod 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay can we have overflow anywhere else i don't think so so let's try this larger example 37 17 and 7 so okay let's submit this one So it is accepted. I hope you liked this video. See you in the next one. Peace.